In this tutorial, we're going to look at working with connected shapes in PowerPoint. You know, recently I was working on a template and I wanted to have a shape something like this where I had a larger circle connected to smaller circles. And it kind of brings up a few issues. So I thought I'd show you a few production tips when we do that. One of them is you can see that the alignment doesn't work. So let's let's go ahead and build something from scratch. So I've got a circle here. I'm just going to duplicate this one and make it a little bit smaller. So I've got four circles, right? I'm just going to put these here. It doesn't really matter uh, where they're at. Now to connect the lines, to connect the shapes, all I need to do is insert a line. And we'll go ahead and do a format painter so we have the same line shape. Okay. So we've got our line thickness. Now what I'm going to do is drag the end of the line. And you'll notice by default it's got a little white anchor point. But watch what happens. When I drag it to a PowerPoint shape, you'll notice it starts to reveal these little anchor circles. And when I connect, you can see I can connect lines to it. They snap to it. You'll notice the end turn, turns into a green end. And that means it's connected to the shape. So I'm going to go ahead and connect it here. So what's nice about that is they're connected so I can move the shape and the connection still holds. A lot of people will do this. They'll just take the shape and they'll connect them this way and then they take the shape and uh, send it to the back. So we send the line to the back. And so now you've got a little bit more control over the line placement, right? Because maybe this isn't perfectly centered, right? If I'm connected up here, it's not centered, but I can actually take it here and um, center it or you know move the line anywhere I want to. So that works. Uh, the only challenge is if I want to move this then I've got to take this and move it as well. So, so a couple extra clicks in the process. Um, by having them uh, connected I don't need to worry about that. I can go ahead and move them anywhere I want to. So let's go ahead and connect the other lines and then that'll introduce some other issues. So I'm going to take these shapes here. Take this can connect it. Um, and you can already see that all of a sudden I'm going to run out of uh, connection points for my diagram here. And we'll do one more. So now I'm kind of at the whim of where PowerPoint chooses to add the connection. Now this brings up another way that you can work with the connections. One way people would work to get these things aligned is they would do this. So like for example, these circles aren't aligned. And I want the circles here, so I don't want to move them around to get them aligned. If I took a line here, actually let's disconnect this one. If I kind of came to the center, and you can kind of eyeball it because you've got the crosshair, so you can eyeball the center point. And I came over here and centered it. Um, I'm going to get a pretty close to center line, so I'm going to get the right look, and then I can send that to the back. Now, I do lo lose the breaking. Uh, or the connection. So if I need to move this, it's not going to be connected. But that's that's not too big of a deal. Now the other thing you could do if you don't add text into the shapes and you just add text over the shapes is let's go ahead and reconnect these lines. The other thing you can do is move these circles by just rotating them. So you can kind of get pretty good at uh, what you want here. And you can just rotate the circles. And this works fine as long as you don't add text uh, to the shape. So if I add text here because I rotated it, you can see the text rotates as well. So what I'd have to do is get rid of that and then I would just insert a text box over the shape and just put some text here. Uh, which I kind of like doing because that gives me a little bit more control over the padding of that circle. Because if I'm working in the circle then I've, I'm kind of constrained because of the circle's margins. But if I insert a text box over I can kind of move the text box uh, wherever I want to. So rotating that works. Now here's a bonus tip, although I rarely do this because it runs into other issues. When you right click on a shape and you hit edit points, you'll notice you've got these anchor points. You can add an anchor point. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit add point. Now this is going to mess up the circle, but I'll add point. Oops. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Um, okay. Well, it's not adding a point. Let's do it on a triangle here. So we can see this better. So if I right click and I do edit points, and I can add a point here, 
and you can see I've got a point. So when I added a point, what that does is when I want to connect to it, it actually creates a, an anchor point for me. So I can create a specific anchor point. The only challenge is when you're working with these um, edit points is that you might accidentally move the point out and you ruin your shape, which is usually what happens on the circles because as soon as you add a point, it pulls out a little bulge. So just something to keep in mind. So you can add points. I usually don't do that. I just find it's easier to either manually move these or um, rotate the shapes and get them in place. And then the other bonus tip would be uh, just put your text on top of the shape rather than inside the shape. And that'll give you more freedom uh, to work with your text. Hope that helps.